Anyway, so this was like really my first exhibition, I would say. And at the same moment, um, so I, I started also this project that some of you might know because it, is, it has been shown several times here in the UK, at the ACA, in different places, where <clears throat> I started to live on um, money back offers, actually 100% uh, uh, money back offers. Like there is like uh, sold in supermarkets, you can find products with uh, offers, like you have big logos and stickers and things that say first purchase free or satisfaction or your money back. And all those products are uh, very, uh, are in front of everybody's eyes, but almost I mean, very few people buy them and ask for the money back. <clears throat> and I found that, and at some point I started to realize there were more than I would have think, and that you could almost live on that, money buying that. So I started to do that for myself, then open like uh, my first website in 96, early, I mean, like, early beginning of the internet. I, the website got uh, registered very quickly on Yahoo and everything, and like in less than a year I had like uh, more than um, like about a million visits or something. It was like featured in many newspapers, many like in Le Monde, in France, like in mm -hmm. magazine. And at the, at the time in 96, 97, like every magazine was starting to have like one page at least, like website of the month or something. If you wanted to be a cool magazine, you had to have like, your um, pages talking about websites. So it was very amateur, very, very, um, uh, I mean, yes, it looks like a, really like a home page. <clears throat> the funny thing was actually it was also produced within um, um, the frame of uh, the first um, museum show about the internet in France, connected to the Lyon Biennale. And, um, but I really like, so I had, if I wanted, I could have had like better, I mean like good uh, technicians or people like that, but really I wanted it to be very, very um, low, um, low tech. And so they were on the website for like explanation on how to make, to buy your, uh, uh, the product, how to find them, how to locate them, what to write, etc., etc. You would have also lists of uh, uh, products and these things, and uh, I would interact with people. They would write me and uh, saying, "I found this one. I don't see it listed on your website. I'm listed, and so on." <coughs> um, but also, I wanted to have more. Um, um, I mean. Have real experience so with people, so I opened like showrooms, like which were both exhibition, also like sort of like uh, uh, showrooms and places, even where people could buy the products. So like for example, this one was called uh, the showroom des produits remboursés, the showroom of uh, money back products. Um, it was in '97, I think this one. So like this is part of the display. You would have like a table with all the products I could have find at the time. Um, you could buy them, like there was a real fridge, and instead of like shelves, there would be a fridge, people would take the thing there. It, it attached to each uh, product was like the original uh, tea receipt from the supermarket or the places where I would have bought them. We would resell them at the uh, same price. And, like, uh, that. and um, also, I would like distribute lots of uh, flyers and things like that. Then <clears throat> I went on tour with a. Uh, um, with, um, a, a van, a truck, like um, um, the first time was like for a public art commission in uh, um, in Nantes. Huh? Actually, the flyer is just so like so a little on three days. You can have some. Sorry, it's in French. If you can pass that on. And for those who don't understand English, sorry, I have only very few uh, who don't understand French. I have also some in English. People who sit on couches, maybe like in first class, or like Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the whole thing, you see, for example, like um, each time, for example, with that, this uh, flyer was like I think twenty thousand copies. They were distributed all over the city in Nantes, uh, and also sent as an invitation card within the art world. <clears throat> I mean. I mean, you wouldn't be surprised to know that most of the people in museums are places that receive them in an envelope, so it was just like an advertising flyer and this ended in a bin and trash bin very quickly, I guess. But 
so with the truck we would uh, stop different places at different times. On the back of the flyer there would be explanation of how to make your uh, um, how to find them, there would be the address of the website and all this. So I went on tour with this truck uh, in that city. Um, inside also was like uh, a TV and different explanation. I would talk to the people. I would do guided tours in supermarkets in situ. I would bring the people. Uh, never more than 10 or 12 people because of course it was not officially authorized. So we didn't want to disperse the term this thing. Also, I was not with my whatever. So. But um, so this is how this whole project. Whole project